Yes, so last time we understood the power of solitude. And the solitude is not loneliness. It is like, you know, I can say that it is like that you are, now Lara is driving, she has still to reach to the studio. So you leave everything that is outside. So goal here is to make your senses quiet. The sense organ, even if it is exposed to the world outside, it you are not affected at all. One of the most beautiful state of meditation. Solitude. Solitude, once says, for example, the same example, now once the Lara will reach to her studio, she leaves the entire traffic, she enters into the studio and closes the door, she finds quietness. So if the solitude complements quietness of the mind, you are doing meditation. And if the solitude complements, or I would say, because you claim that you are living in the solitude and it causes your mind in anxiety and reaction, I don't want to talk to you. So now you don't want to. You have stopped talking. That is one point of solitude. Then you sit alone and then you start thinking about the same guy again, whom you don't want to talk. That is not solitude. Do you see that? That is not solitude. So the solitude is that now the senses are not exposed to anything in the world outside. And when it is not, then what happens? The quietness is revealed inside. In the initial practices of any meditation, I used to say, you see that, what happens if there is a storm outside, what we do? We rush inside the home and close the door. The storm is still present outside, but I am very calm inside. Can I live into that state of the mind all the time? Then you are into the higher state of meditation. And what happens? It instantly reveals quietness, and the quiet mind is a happy mind. Quiet mind is a happy mind. So I can be in solitude in the store, in a mob, and that complements the quietness within, and the quietened mind is happy mind. That needs to be understood, contemplated again and again. Say, for example, you sit even for five minutes, do nothing, and check the mind. Is the mind being a faithful servant, listening to you? The mind is exposed by the sense organ. You have the image inside. You become aware. You leave the image outside. How should I leave the image outside? Question comes, how should I leave the image and the thoughts outside? Let me answer by asking you a question. Tell me, when I see you, you are sitting in a home. Did my mind reach to your home or did your home reach to my mind? How do I see you? Your mind reached the home? Or did the my mind reach the mind? Home or, or 
Or the whole which the mind. No. My, my mind thinks of Eastern Europe. Tell me, does my mind, is there in Eastern Europe? No. No. Just mute it, Tatiana. <laughs> we have. So what happens to the mind? Understand this part. The mind does not go anywhere. You have studied a lot of things about mind. The mind does not go anywhere. Mind simply imagines. Where is Lara? So mind imagines in the mind. It has an image, it has a thought, it has an idea, that is all. So we normally talk about, oh, I was thinking of a Switzerland, my mind went there, mind does not go anywhere. It gives us a perception. So once we understand that, then the solitude complements quietness. And the quiet mind is a happy mind. I can be quiet in any circumstances, in any event, at any time in my life. You think of solitude, withdraw the sense organs, check that the sense organs are quiet, Mind will reflect the quietness. You will get deep sleep within five minutes. There is no problem outside. In a higher meditation, we understand there is no problem outside. We are our own problem. But what happens whenever there is a challenge in the world outside, the mind moves outside to find the problem, find the solution. So when the mind goes outside to find the solution, we start blaming people, place, time, relations, my spouse is a problem, my son is a problem, my father is a problem. And then what happens? Can you think of it? We try to change them. We don't want to change. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you getting it? We try to change others because we find the problem is outside. And then we continue to suffer. I cannot change anyone. I have to change myself. Happiness lies only in the being. So this step says, first solitude, then I'm just explaining briefly. Now, Another part, the quiet mind is a happy mind. These two steps covers at least 15 different stages of meditation that I'm not taking up according to Patanjali. The meditation is known as Savikalpa Samadhi, Nirvikalpa Samadhi, Sampragyant Samadhi, or Sampragyat Samadhi, or meditation. So I'm just picking up a very beautiful ideas covered by these masters. <clears throat> no, no, I have a lot of thoughts. What should I do? I'm not able to focus my mind. So go back to Patanjali. Patanjali says, 
it is because of your sanskaras, the impressions buried deep inside the mind. And these impressions, these impressions causes five stages of suffering, avidya, asmita, rag, dvesh, abhinivesh. That is why solitude even disturbs me. Quiet mind I find anxiety. What is these five uh, afflictions? It is known as five causes of suffering. Lack of awareness of reality or ignorance about my true nature. I have an incomplete knowledge about myself. I do not know that my real nature is full of peace and happiness. Second stage of suffering is that it creates an ego sense. Take it simply in a simple way. First, what happens? First, my mind says, I am incomplete. Why it says I'm incomplete? Because I'm suffering, I have problems. So the moment I see that I'm incomplete, so I am seeking something other than me for my happiness. So then there are two, I and you. Maybe I and what we say, you know, what we say, soulmate, yeah. Soulmate or any, any, anything. So the moment I have an incomplete knowledge, I start seeking something in the world. Second point. Third, then I create an ego sense. Ego sense takes over. Now the ego sense starts thinking, soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. Oh, any example. It may be smartphone, it may be car, it may be anything. So then what happens? I constantly think then it creates an attachment to an object and detachment to the rest of the object. Then what happens? I have millions of thoughts like this. And these millions of thoughts live my life. I do not live my life. <clears throat> and these five causes a constant ripple in the mind, prevents the solitude, prevents the quietness in the mind. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? And what happens? These impressions are not known to the mind. Their impact is known. And I get carried away by these impacts, and then I fail in meditation. I fail in meditation. That is why it is known as past impressions. There is another word, it is known as vasana. Vasana means that dwells, that has found a place in the mind to stay there, and it triggers into the mind. These impressions can only be removed by long hours of meditation, by higher stages of meditation. It cannot be undone by simply doing the practice of meditation once a week. It has to be done every day. I used to ask, Master, you have reached there at that stage, why you practice? Is there a need to practice? He says, no, there is no need to, do, to practice anything. But question is, you ask the question, why should not I do it? <clears throat> I have time, 24 hours a day still is there, even if you are enlightened, why shouldn't you do it? And the more you absorb into it, 
there is always a new revelations. Why new revelations? Because that real self is infinite, all pervading. You get a new way of expression in the world. Every day you practice it. Because there is a constant revelation. So I'm repeating again, understand solitude. Storm there, there is a storm outside. You rush inside your home, close the door, you are already in a solitude. But once you are in a state of solitude, the mind reveals that quietness in you, because there are no contents there. So if the solitude complements the quietness, there is no problem in the mind at all. Let modern science talk about 3,000 illnesses. The quiet mind is a happy mind. Quiet mind is always a happy mind. But it must come from solitude. Now, briefly, I will explain you. So maybe in future, we will go for it. Patanjali says the beginning of meditation. Pick up an object. Focus there. Confine the territory of your mind there. Then he says, continue the practice. Now you lose the external appearance of an image and it leads you to a first stage of meditation which says tatra prateka tanata dhyanam in the third chapter now when he says deeper meditation then he says deeper meditation are of two types sampragyat asampragyat the sampragyat has four stages Awesome Prajnat has one stage. So now go on counting the stages of meditation. So when you reach to the Awesome Prajnat, again you have five or six stages. You may find the solitude and the calmness, but still the past impressions are present. You have to remove those past impressions until the full awakening takes place. Then what happens? There is a constant revelation. There is a constant awareness that you are peace. You are not in peace. You are the peace. You are the happiness. You are the love. You are the wisdom. Last point I remember, and then we will start. So pay attention to the solitude become observed. You know, I used to go to Phoenix for a private lesson last year and uh, to a medical doctor. So I used to explain the nature of the solitude in my head while driving for 40 minutes. What was, his, what was his comment that, no, I know that you love driving. No, I love solitude. You see, the perception changes. I love solitude because I found it. Even if I'm aware of everything outside and still the mind inside is living in solitude. That makes the mind quite and the quiet mind is happiness. Last point. You buy vegetables, Lara, and everyone buy vegetables, go to the food store, we put it into the refrigerator, and then we bring it out, we cut, we clean it, uh, we wash it, uh, we prepare and we keep ready our all spices. Until now, vegetable is not ready or anything is not ready until there is a fire. 
you do anything. You buy the costly vegetables, you put it, you clean it, <clears throat> you prepare all the, keep all the spices. But if there is no fire, the vegetable is not ready. This is one example given by one master, so I remember. So this fire is essential, is the most important thing to cook vegetables. What is the fire in meditation? <laughs> you prepare, you sit in lotus pose for two hours, doesn't make any difference. You sit in a room with a lot of aroma, incense. Huh? You buy $1,000 of cushion, it will not make any difference. <laughs> you, do you understand that money? <laughs> huh? And he has written this text almost 2,000 years ago. See the relevance of it. What he says, what is that fire? Fire is the knowledge. If you don't have the right knowledge of what meditation is, how meditation is practiced, what are the ways of it, what are the stages, forget about. You cannot go it. So he compared the fire with the knowledge. Think of it. That is how we're ancient masters. Don't worry, Tatiana, after the practice, you can ask any question. Let us start our journey. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and look at the body. Look at the body mentally. You see that? Are you going for a solitude? You are looking at the body. You are aware of the body. Why you want to be aware of the body? Just to transcend it. Why you want to see the garage? To park the car there and go inside. See that? That level of awareness is required. So eyes are closed. You are aware of the body, and the mind is looking inside, either inside the forehead or inside the heart. Why? Our sweetheart lives within. Our sweetheart is our true nature. It is common element. It is same in every being. I'm talking of that sweetheart. Don't start thinking of other sweethearts, you know. Senses are looking within, and that gives you a sense of solitude. And once that gives you a sensation of this idea of the solitude, did I say knowledge is a fire? That is the ultimate weapon to succeed in meditation. So position of the body, mind is looking within, facing within, you are aware. And we settle again, we look at the neck joint, you feel the sensation, being comfortable and steadiness. Now you see, my friends, your mind, the goal of your mind is not to start thinking of your challenges, problems, anxiety, reaction. Your mind should think of the right knowledge, the fire. What is that? See that point, once your mind is equipped with the right knowledge in the field of right awareness, every meditation succeeds. So look at the shoulder joints, who is looking? The mind. Is the mind going there? No! The mind is still within. I have already explained that. 
and the mind experiences sensation being comfortable and steady. Mind does not go anywhere. Take it that point. The mind looks at the entire body from the top to the toes. Looking at all the joints of the body. And experience sensation being comfortable and steadiness, my friends. You are already there. You did nothing. That is the beauty and the power of the knowledge to understand solitude and quietness. Normally what happens, we start complaining and blaming others. Keep quiet. I'm meditating. Come on, make your mind quiet. And being carefree, I have explained you in possibly 20 different ways. Ripples in the water on the surface of an ocean and deep inside is also the water that is calm. So this mind can live with the thought and the deeper mind is totally far different separate my master used to say step back whenever we used to talk about blaming reaction no step back look from behind all these thoughts are coming and going that is what is being carefree another simile the birds flying in the sky the sky is never touched by these thoughts sky is never touched by the birds live into that state have a glimpse of it how can you have a glimpse by hundreds of practices will not help you you simply need the right knowledge from the knowledge you need to be aware that is why the knowledge is fire see that Those people who say, no, oh, this is all about meditation, is all about blind belief. No. Then you are not ready. You are not a seeker. And now in that state of, in that state, now you see that you are looking inside, you are living inside, from inside you are acting on the breath. So look inside the belly button and start breathing quick short and playful breath from both the nostrils continue continue playful Knowledge should work here. <clears throat> you are playing with the breath. The mind is not playing with you. When the mind is playing with you, you will say, No, I feel exhausted. I don't want to do it. Give me some other practice. To one person last year, I gave him 30 different practices. He said, No, this practice doesn't suit me. So we have already covered that state of the mind in <coughs> tapa, voluntary austerity. Continue. 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 Quick, short, and playful breath. Keep looking inside the belly button or inside the head in the space.
and stop it. Take a deep, silent and slow breath now. Deep, silent and slow inhalation and exhalation. How it should be deeper breath? First you inhale into the belly. Continue inhaling into the rib case. You feel the expansion of the belly and the rib case while exhaling. First exhale from the belly, then from the rib case. Find out the rhythm. And if your mind says, I'm okay, how the mind says? Through the knowledge. You see that how this master picked up such a very subtle point? If the mind does not have a right knowledge, it will not breathe first into the valley, then into the rib case. And now, while exhaling, every time you look deep inside the forehead and continue humming, the humming should vibrate all the cells of your forehead. We discussed that a couple of weeks ago. Do not forget, you have to inhale deep, silent and slow. Don't make any noise. Why? You will maintain awareness. Why? It will prevent the mind to go out. You will remain almost in a state of solitude. And when you pay attention to that deep, silent, slow breath, your body will not move. It will maintain the steadiness. You know, everything is linked together. We have to understand these subtle things. Now we are in a higher stages of meditation. Continue. Mm. Beautiful, continue doing, everyone is doing fine, except to whose videos are not in front of me. Mm. Deep, silent, slow, every next breath is deeper than the previous one. Deep, silent and slow breath, continue. Mm. This is the last time, and after last humming, continue inhaling and exhaling deep, silent and slow. Normally what we say, that if your rate of breath drops to hardly three or four breaths in a minute, as compared to normal, which is 18 to 21, the mind is bound to live in solitude. What? Yes. And that we check in the next step. 
as you inhale the mind is moving inside the spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone and you drop om shanti five times <clears throat> and while exhaling mind moves from the tailbone to the crown of the head you drop om shanti and then you find there is nothingness again you drop om shanti but again you find there is nothing except the space that is why i told you in the last step last practice <clears throat> that you should be aware of the space in between Om Shanti. So continue, my friends, dropping Om Shanti. While inhaling, moving the mind from the crown of the head to the tailbone, from the tailbone to the, to the crown of the head. Now you see that what is there in the mind? Om Shanti. And that is a conscious thought. The rest is solitude. It will yield quietude, quietude or quietness. And you experience consciously. That is the key. <clears throat> what is experience awareness knowledge and experience are synonyms for the sake of understanding and now leave that om shanti we will go into the stage three as you inhale move the mind inside the right arm in the space either from the shoulder to the fingertips, while exhaling, move the mind from the fingertips to the shoulder. So what is the fire here? Your breath is your car. Mind is your driver. And the highway is the space inside. <clears throat> see that move the mind inside the left leg in this left arm in the same way even we can follow any pattern it doesn't matter but yes left arm inside is the highway so do you know that by this step what exactly we are asking the mind to do it <clears throat> We're asking the mind to see beyond the world. What will happen? It will give you a variety of experiences. Tingling, numbness, heaviness, vision, colors. And something as if the body is expanding, body is contracting. Why? In the beginning, the mind is not able to make up what exactly it is going beyond the world. So because of the past impressions, it creates these. Now move the mind inside the right leg. So because of absence of past experience of going beyond the world, the mind still fights and struggles. It mixes the past impression and leads to many variety of experiences. That is why we say, recognize, accept, let these experiences appear and disappear until we find our true nature, my friends. Now, I know it will make a sense to those who have been attending the sessions regularly. And I appreciate them. They are the seekers. 
moving the mind inside the left leg. I know you remember the highway. Can you see the highway outside? No. I symbolize this. So whatever the activity is, the mind has to do to be on the highway. <clears throat> And now inside the spine, the mind is moving inside the spine from the crown of the head on the highway. That means the space through the emptiness. There is nothingness. Are you not empowering the mind to see what is beyond? You know, Nyasa works very well. <clears throat> we are not only understanding, practicing based on the right knowledge taught to us by thousands of masters. Everyone is doing beautiful. Please stay, continue. And now stop breathing deep, silent, slow, in the stays for we are totally free as if we have to do nothing except look inside the head or the heart in the space. Anything enters into the mind that disturbs the solitude. Why it has come from outside? You drop Om Shanti. Any thought, any feeling, any experience enters Om Shanti, Amli Om Shanti. It is like, I'll repeat it again. I know your mind will enjoy any. I come to you and you ask me why you have come. I say Om Shanti. Which car you own? Om Shanti. Which food you have taken? Om Shanti. Why you are you here? Om Shanti. So same way. Looking inside the head or the heart in the space, the mind says anything. The same mind says, Aum Shanti. What will happen to the mind that makes you crazy? It will leave you. That is the key. That can only be done if you have the fire, means right knowledge. If you don't have the right knowledge, the mind will say, it is craziness. No. It is very powerful. You might have experienced in these sessions.
And now leave this also. Casually walk inside. Walk the mind inside the crown of the head. Again you see the same solitude you drop on. Walk inside the forehead, Om. Walk inside the heart, Om. Belly button, Om. Heart, Om. Forehead inside, Om. Top of the head. You see that when you drop Om, it merges into the infinite space. What is left? Nothing. What should I do? Nothing. A revolution takes place only when mind is quiet. Solitude outside. Quietness inside. Waiting revolution. Success in meditation. Can it happen in one session? Another fire in the last step. Look at the breath going in and out. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. In order to maintain our awareness so that the mind, the past impression should not hijack us in meditation, what we do when the breath is going in, you simply drop on, on the breath. The om merges into the breath and the breath merges into the space. When the breath comes out, you simply drop om. Not importance to the om, but importance to my aware. Continue. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti Shanti <clears throat> Bring your awareness on the right hand and just be there and experience the change. Bring your mind to the left hand, be there, feel the change. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms. So you see the space inside the palms and then ask yourself what happened so that we can share our experiences, bring the hands down. How are you, David and Jerry? David has to leave at nine, so we should have <laughs> I remember, yes. Thank you. Um, a North American uh, term is mind-numbing, and it, right after or during the the long breath, I, I just felt my, main, my brain, my mind go, going numb. And I remember hearing your words, hearing you speak, but I, uh, all of a sudden I just heard you chant at the end, and it's like, what happened? So it was very, <laughs> best word I can come up with is mind-numbing. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's a beautiful, deeper experience, David. That's beautiful. How are you, Jerry? I'm good, sir. Um, the mind is very happy and um, and obedient, as you were saying, to to follow along. Um, as we got deeper in the meditation, I had lots of color: green, white, indigo, um, and. And I find at the end now, the Om Shanti Shanti, um, I'm actually deeper than, like, I don't want to come out at all. Don't want to come out. That's <laughs> really, again, a deeper, you both are seekers. How are you, Christina? Today was really good. Um, I didn't get, it, get as deep as I did. I like how the last guy, I'm sorry, I forget your name, but the numbingness, I definitely got that last time. This time, I feel like I needed to, I needed to put more focus into my belly breaths. Um, yeah. I've been having, so that was kind of where my focus was, but you know, I'm, I'm learning. So it's, but it was good. It was good. Christina, just listen to it, understand and follow. Don't start thinking that if I get more numbness, then it will be deeper. Sometime our experiences vary. We may have the vision, colors, and it is a deeper instead of numbness. Sometime we experience the body becomes heavy. So don't worry about these experiences. Let them come and go. Live into that state. The moment the mind says, I have that, I don't want to see that problem. Return the mind. I'm in peace. How are you, Sam? I'm good. Um, I really like the um, sequence of quick breaths and humming. Yeah. And I've actually been doing it. Um, I'm in the car a decent amount to doctor's appointments and things like that. So I've been doing that a little Beautiful. bit on my car rides <clears throat> or at least some point in the day where I'm starting to feel a little um, fatigue. Like and it's really interesting because you just, you're done and you're like, oh, I just meditated, but you didn't sit down and close your eyes. You're just doing something else, right? So I think we talked about this last week. I just find it interesting that you can find that stuff different times a day by doing this stuff. You see, that's why I say the younger must learn as soon as possible, because the younger mind is full of energy, and whenever they find there is a problem, 
the mind can easily go there. Oh, let me pick up the breathing and the humming and mind calms down. Now, you see, Sam, it's a beautiful development with your mind that in, in the beginning, in the past, might be you felt some sort of anxious and anxiety and the mind is looking for a solution, but mind has now found the solution. Oh, let yeah. me do it. That yeah. is the most striking point. I like it, Sam. This is really good. Yeah. You're doing good. How are you, Lara? <laughs> I had an interesting experience today. I would, and let me start it with, actually, I think it began last night. Um, so I had a lot to do, and then I got everything done, and then my mind was really quiet, and it, that's not all the time. And so that was really beautiful. So it kind of transitioned into not necessarily it, it, more in the waking life, let me put it that way, or the, the interactive life. This meditation, I got really deep, really fast. And then Beautiful. I got a pain in my leg and I went out. <laughs> and then I went back in. And like so when we were doing the, the, the Nyasa and the body scan, I was like, oh, I'm like so grateful to be doing this right now because I can get in and kind of like work with what was going on in my leg. So it was interesting. And then at the end, I wasn't ready to come out today. I was super deep. That's a really so, a deeper meditation. You are already yeah. a seeker. That is the beauty. You see that too. Uh, I also live a family life. So did I, did I talk about it, the money? happiness. We already know that the money cannot buy happiness. But what happens to the mind that the mind attaches the money with the happiness, mind attaches the soulmate with the happiness, mind attaches the house with the happiness. The moment you separate it, that is what Lara did, that the moment you separate, you stop running. That means the mind stop running. So sometimes I also know what I will I do. I say, you crazy mind, stop it. Let me think. Use. So I address to my, you know, stop it, do nothing, hold on. And the mind goes back to the same state. That is the way the meditation should work in day-to-day -day life. How are you, Stephen? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Um, I'll describe the meditation as quiet, effortless, and expansive. Beautiful. Um, the, when we start the breathing in the right arm, my experience today was where expansiveness came, is because I didn't, as I, and I, and I think I've said this before, whether it was last week or the week before, yeah. it wasn't that I was in my right arm. I was actually in both arms, not even in the arms, but just outside the arms. And I could feel my, the, the energy just following the breath going up my shoulders and it wouldn't stop there. It actually finished at my crown. Mm. And it was just this, this whole upper body experience and it was interesting because when you went to the right leg i was in the right leg so it that's so it, beautiful yeah and then the same thing with the left and as i was finishing it up it then continued up through my entire body um and then that was it then i heard you chanting oh so, you are a seeker it's a deeper practice you see uh that I will appreciate. You see that in our tradition, the master and a disciple tradition, that is what we say, that uh, the master, before it gives the step, the student goes there. And the master and the teacher is always appreciative of this. Master likes this. It is totally different in formal education system. The teacher says what I'm teaching, focus there. Why you have gone one step ahead? Mm -hmm. So I mean, my language of my master, master says that, you know, master, I'm your student. And he used to laugh a lot. 
He said, no, I don't make disciples, I make masters. Are you ready? That is the true tradition. It is not the number, oh, I have 5 million uh, students and you have 3 million, and third master says, no, let me grab something from these two masters. It has nothing to do with the followers. That's a true sense. Thank you. Uh, how are you, Sergi? Very calm. Concentration of thoughts slowly going down with every meditation. I, I can't even count them. Like it can be like a couple in a couple of minutes, and that's easier to let them go. Easier to let them go. That's a beautiful statement. Normally, the mind does not allow it easy to go. You see that? That quality of the mind we need. We are progressing. How are you, Terry? You were totally quiet. Your body was totally still. You see that? It is coming from the past impression on one day, on the other day. No, no. It's hard to talk. I'm not intellectual today. It helped me. It's hard to talk. Not easy. Not easy, yes. It is the thought I say it is not easy. Let the mind drop this thought during the practice of meditation and you will be there. You are still quiet. I should see that. Yes, 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 sir. I'm quiet because I can't move. But during, it will happen. During, during, it will happen. during meditation, I, did, I dropped that thought. I didn't think about it. I focused on meditating and the instruction, and it helped me. And I almost got there. I got there a little bit. Uh, yeah, 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 it will happen. Do you see, Tara? It allowed me to breathe. That was my, my gift, it said. Where is your smile? Uh, it's there. No, it's not there. Well, now, it's not. It's there. <laughs> now it is there. I have taken care of Lara a lot of the challenges like this, including the muscular dystrophy and the Parkinson. Problem only the challenge is that one has to continue. One has to be regular. On one day, the mind does not contain any past impression and the practice is successful. That inspires the mind of those people who have these challenges, including Christian. So it takes time. Now, how long it will take? Which practice you give? No. I can give you hundreds of practices. So when I was giving practice to her individually, you'll be surprised she did practice for three hours. I used to go to her house in Brooklyn. Irrespective of all the rest of the considerations outside, no, no, I will come. And I used, so she was also good enough, you know, her maid used to cook some time I used to spend in the night, 8 to 11. So it demands individualized and personalized practices. The moment you have challenges, then we can do it. How are you? Tatiana, where are you? I don't see you. Have you gone to beach? I have seen a lot of pictures of you on the Facebook. No, today finally I'm in home. I, I'm not somewhere else. <laughs> uh, what my experience today is, uh, while we were humming, it was, I felt as if I got rid of some anxious and uh, angriness. Angry. And, and, yeah, angry. So I I were humming louder, louder, and louder. I think that there is no light. I don't see you clearly. Uh, it is. It is like yeah. yeah now I can one. see. You. Yes. You don't feel angry now. 
No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's fine, Lucky. And uh, I lost myself when we, when I was in my left or right leg, I do not remember. And at the time, it looked like I switched off. And I switched on, on Om Shanti. And my first thought was, no, 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 stop, leave me here, leave me here. So, um, I cannot understand if I turned off and I slept. Or I were I was in meditation. I mean it's that I was only one on thing is required. Thing. Tatiana, only one thing is required: regular practice. And after that, when I send these files, at least you should be doing the practice regularly. After the practice, you recall what I talked today, what principle. Can I apply that mm -hmm. principle in my day-to-day -day life, the way the Sam was talking? Mm -hmm. That is the way it works. Otherwise, it will not work. Otherwise, you will say this beer guy is crazy guy. There is no peace. Mm -hmm. But I'm crazy because I know Thank there you, is how are you, Sangeeta? <laughs> Sir, both peaceful hai or Hamesha hi hota peaceful or kuch expansion is a lakta ki under kuch expand ho raha. Ye expansion uh -huh. bohoti badiya hai. Ye gehrai mein le ja raha hai. She is also going into a deeper and deeper. She finds ah, it is expanding. It is expanding. Eh? Huh? Ah? Her mind. That is really good. Continue. And what about Samir is there? Samir is not there. Any question that you have? Understand. Think of it. And uh, to everyone, and let me say specific mention to Terry and Christina. You are sitting with eyes open. Now think. Think of the storm outside. Huh? There is a lot of snowstorm in in uh, huh? now. It is expected in New York. So Terry, think of any kind of a storm outside. Rev uh, revive it. Oh, there is a sound. There is a snow. There is a sand. And now think again that you are sitting inside the home. Think of the storm outside, think of the calmness inside. Become aware of it. Now, apply to the mind. What is the storm in the mind? The mind is crazy, mind is lazy, mind is thinking. And so you move inside. Don't fight with the storm. What will happen if you fight with the storm? <laughs> what will happen to you? <laughs> so that awareness is required. You don't need anything. In at, at any point of time, anger starts coming. This is a storm. Mind says, I'm depressed. This is a storm. Mind says, you have a lot of challenges. This is a storm. What you do? Don't do anything to the storm. Leave it. Uh -huh. Leave it means the mind moves inside. Okay. And then see how mind dares you to cause any problem. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> is laughing. Any <laughs> question? Good. No. <laughs> I like it. So good. Chris is also writing very good. But don't. Only write, implement it. Everything is written in the books. <laughs> so that is all for today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste.